thank you. Please relax. Welcome, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome to The Tonight Show. You're here. <laughs> the director of the CDC appeared on four Sunday morning talk shows to defend the quick reversal of mask recommendations for vaccinated Americans. <laughs> yeah. See, half the audience is clapping because I think a lot of people don't understand the new rules. <laughs> people, are, America hasn't felt this confused since Dunkin' Donuts started selling avocado toast. <laughs> uh, I don't know what we do. I get it. It's a confusing time when uh, Best Buy has tougher health rules than the CDC. You know? <laughs> That's right. Somehow, CDC guidelines have become more confusing than a parking sign in New York City. It's like... <laughs> Can I stand here? No, you can stand here on Tuesday. Oh. <laughs> Trent, the director said that for the new guidelines to work, the CDC is asking Americans to be honest about their vaccination status. <laughs> really? People can't even tell the truth in their Tinder profiles. You're gonna say, really? Come on. That's it. It was a picture of me. Meanwhile, today, even President Biden tried to add clarity to the COVID situation. I don't think he helped anybody uh, dress as the Phantom of the Opera. I thought that was interesting. He's like, oh, now we're doing half masks. Half masks. We're doing half masks now. <laughs> Slowly. <laughs> of the night. Uh, but Biden announced some good news for the uh, first time since the pandemic began. Cases are down in all 50 states. So that's <laughs> That's right, COVID numbers are down and Instagram posts of people's brunches are way up. Oh, Look at those eggs, wow. Like, Biden also announced plans to send 20 million more vaccine doses abroad by the end of June. And you know that, yeah, that's good. And you know that when the vaccines come back home, they'll be like, it's actually pronounced Pfizer. I went to Barth Barcelona. Okay. Really? All right. All right. How long okay. Was I, I know. What's that? How long were you there? Uh, two death. <laughs> two death. Uh, speaking of Biden, this weekend a New York Times report revealed what the president is like, according to people who work closely with him. They say Biden's obsessed with details, asks many questions, and displays unexpected warmth. It's all part of their plan to release the most boring tell-all book of all time. <laughs> Oh, wow, he flosses, too. <laughs> the report also says that Biden's drink of choice is orange Gatorade. Oh. Is it? <laughs> or is it just water with Metamucil? Okay, sure. Gatorade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gatorade, yeah. <laughs> Apparently, Biden also doesn't like to be served leafy greens because he's afraid of being photographed with something in his teeth. The White House kitchen is like, we're now on year five of not serving salad. <laughs> Let's change the gears here. Well, people are talking about this last night. 60 Minutes had a piece on the existence of UFOs. And this is what a former top Pentagon official had to say. So what you're telling me is that UFOs are real. Bill, I think we're beyond that already. It sounds nutty, wacky. I'm not telling you that, that it doesn't sound wacky. What I'm telling you is it's real. The question is, what is it? What are its intentions? What are its capabilities? And, of course, he's talking about his goatee. <laughs> what are his intentions? Yes, it's wacky. Yes, it's nutty. I think it's kind of edgy, and I'm also in a swing band. I had no idea the top Pentagon official was also in charge of all the elves in the North Pole. Wow. Herbie doesn't like to make toys. All I know is if aliens are real, it means we're a year away from seeing this. I'm Leslie Stahl. I'm Bill Whitaker. I'm Anderson Cooper. And I am Borgalac 368. Okay. <laughs> Guys, today is May 17th, and you know what that means? It is tax day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? <laughs> yeah, I got it. Uh, the most popular Google search today was, can I write off my home if it's also my office, and can I write off my bed if it's also my desk? <laughs> uh, since it's tax day, can we see what the head of the IRS looks like? Yeah. 
don't worry if you forgot to file your taxes. He looks pretty understanding. <laughs> Can I see him again? Can we bring it? <laughs> looks like his son just told him I need 10 grand for DJ school. <laughs> Some business news. I saw that Pabst Blue Ribbon and Entenmann's are teaming up to release a new pairing of hard coffee and donuts. Take a look at that. And to make it a truly balanced breakfast, just throw in half a pack of Newport Lights. There you go. That's nice. Nice. Speaking of new products, I heard that Mountain Dew is launching a birthday cake flavored drink called Mountain Dew Cake Smash. Take a look at this thing. Yep. On the can, the nutrition facts just say, come on. And finally, a woman in California says she accidentally destroyed a $26 million lottery ticket in the washing machine. When she told lottery officials that she lost a $26 million lottery ticket, the guy behind her in line was like, yes, I also lost a $26 million lottery ticket. <laughs> For the first time in over a year, New York City has resumed 24-hour subway service. That's, big... <laughs> That's right. The subways are once again running 24 hours a day, minus the 23 hours they're out of service. But still... <laughs> That's right, the subway is running 24 hours is great news for the city, but a uh, tough break for all the rat weddings that have scheduled between 2 and 4 a.m. <laughs> Unfortunately. Do you guys remember simpler times in New York City when the biggest health crisis was a pole on the seventh train? <laughs> <laughs> touch that thing. I'd rather fall into someone than touch that pole. That's right, there's the A, there's the B, the C, a bunch of other types of hepatitis you can get on the subway. Just be careful when you grab that pole. <laughs> Speaking of New York, the Brooklyn Nets are in the NBA playoffs. Oh! Wow! They're in the NBA playoffs, and Mayor Bill de Blasio showed his team's spirit while announcing that their arena will also be a vaccination site. Check out uh, how he was dressed. The Nets are now going to be joining the battle against COVID with a mobile vaccination site right outside Barclays Center. Right now, Jay-Z is like, thank God I sold my piece of the net. I mean, like, <laughs> he looks like a guy who sits courtside and can't get any high fives from the players. You know that guy? <laughs> yeah, the classic basketball fan outfit, hat, jersey, and a blue button down over the jersey. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen anyone wear that <laughs> in my life. <laughs> ever. Why? You don't think it'd be someone in the office going, like, ah. You put the jersey over this shirt, maybe. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Put the shirt over the jersey. <laughs> First thing you do, and you're right. You're that's right. a that's okay? a fashion version of an air ball. You know, uh, that's <laughs> Rob Lowe looked more natural at the NFC Championship, and he was just because <laughs> <laughs> he was rooting for football there. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of vaccination sites, later this week, a strip club in Las Vegas will be offering the COVID vaccine. <laughs> All right, now we're up to two poles. You shouldn't put your hands on. Okay, just. <laughs> That's right, the strip club is the only vaccination site where you leave and still need to get tested. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> when you walk into the club, there's a sign that says two dose minimum. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the idea makes sense. If we're being honest, the vaccines do kind of sound like stripper names, like, put your hands together for Moderna. <laughs> Well, guys, COVID restrictions are being lifted around the country, which means people are finally getting out for the first time in over a year. And a lot of us have forgotten what's normal behavior and what's not. For example, it's, it's normal for things to get a little stressful at the grocery store when it's busy, but it's not normal with doing this. Police say a fight broke out between two women in the potato chip aisle. Security footage caught one woman hitting the woman in the face with a 10-pound log of prepackaged meat. Also, with the weather warming up, it's normal if you want to go outside and hang out. What's not normal is doing it like this. One South Florida man tried to tell police he was just hanging out. The only problem was he was relaxing on a traffic light. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, it's totally normal to start traveling again. Okay? What's not normal is doing this. 
A Colorado man is facing federal charges this morning, accused of disrupting an Alaska Airlines flight by refusing to wear a mask and then urinating in the cabin. Some news out of Washington last night. President Biden released his tax returns, and the White House put out a statement that said, Today, the president released his 2020 federal income tax return, continuing an almost uninterrupted tradition. <laughs> <laughs> then, just to rub it in Trump's face even more, they tweeted it, you know? <laughs> But this is nice. According to their tax return, the Bidens gave over $30,000 to charity. Yeah. It was an offshoot of Big Brothers, Big Sisters called uh, Big Biden's Little Carters. And, uh... <laughs> Some news from overseas. I read that Kim Jong-un has banned citizens from having mullets or wearing skinny jeans. <laughs> right now, everyone's like, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I agree with Kim Jong-un. I mean, come on, compared to Kim Jong-un, all pants are skinny pants. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see that picture again. <laughs> his waist and his leg hole are both size 38. <laughs> well, listen to this. According to a new report, some U.S. airlines may start weighing passengers before they board their flight. <laughs> You know, Americans will be like, wait, let me take off my mask and see if that makes a difference. Because, you know, I've been wearing it all day. It's like four pounds of mask weight, so. <laughs> now when you get to the airport, you get searched and weighed. We're basically a urine sample away from it being a full physical. <laughs> but it's not as bad as it sounds. You just discreetly step on a scale, and then the pilot announces it to everyone on board. <laughs> okay, Jerry weighs 310 pounds. Some celebrity news over the weekend. Ariana Grande surprised everyone and got married in a small ceremony. Hey! We love you, Ariana. We love Ariana. Uh, it was the only wedding where the priest said, we will now exchange these seven rings. <laughs> and finally, I was watching MSNBC yesterday and some pretty unfortunate, something pretty unfortunate happened to a cyclist taking a selfie behind the reporter. Watch this. And we know that these changes are really? happening oh, on the oh, hour. We have wow. more and more yeah. stories joining, as you guys have yeah. mentioned. Our friends are like, well, on the bright side, your selfie's trending. <laughs> Today, President Biden gave his first commencement address as commander-in-chief at the Coast Guard Academy graduation. Yep, Biden's speech lasted about 30 minutes until a Coast Guard captain fired off a rescue flare. Like... <laughs> Wrap it up, buddy. Even Navy SEALs were looking at the Coast Guard like, how'd you make it through that? <laughs> but this was nice. Biden personally handed out diplomas to all 240 graduates. Then Fox News criticized him for more government handouts. <laughs> you could tell Biden is 78 because he also gave every graduate a check for $10. <laughs> Don't spend it all in one place. At the end of his visit, Biden received a gift. It was pretty special. Take a look at this. On behalf of the class of 2021, I would like to pre present to you this token of our appreciation. Oh, what a great gift. <laughs> I hope I won't need this anytime soon. <laughs> That's a good joke. He said the same thing at Christmas when his grandkids got him a life alert. Uh, on, his... <laughs> on his ride home, he used a sword to open a string cheese. It was, uh, yeah. Anyway, that'll explain why he shows up to his next event wearing an eye patch. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what is he gonna do with it? He's like popping bottles of insure. <laughs> Side note, by the way, why does the Coast Guard carry swords? Shouldn't it be a harpoon or something? <laughs> Guarding the coast, like something's coming down the coast. Let's, let's wait till they land and get about two feet from us, then we can uh, defend ourselves. Get them bazookas. What are we doing? <laughs> yep, Biden spent the day with Coast Guard's newest graduates, which brings us to a new segment called Inspiring Words from Your Commander-in-Chief. You are quite, you're a really dull class. Hey, this is interesting. I saw the kids ages 13 to 17 can officially trade stocks. 
with Fidelity's new youth investing accounts. Yeah, you'll know your kid's too into trading when they're up at 3 a.m. for the Asian markets downing pixie sticks. <laughs> I can already see a dad threatening to cut off his son's allowance, and the son just smiles and lights his cigar with a 50. <laughs> Why don't you go mow the lawn, Dad? <laughs> Get this, Google just announced a new privacy feature that will allow users to delete the last 15 minutes of their search history. It's easy. You just go to settings and turn on perv mode. Very simple. Some more business news. Dunkin' Donuts just announced a new partnership with a paint company for the chain's first ever paint collection. It's for anyone who's ever walked into a Dunkin' Donuts like, I want to live here. I saw that next month, General Mills is releasing four of its most popular cereals in oatmeal form. Or you could just pour milk into your favorite cereal and wait literally 10 seconds. <laughs> it's Wheaties. It's Spackle. <laughs> That's right, Lucky Charms oatmeal. And if you're looking for a healthier breakfast option, I recommend drinking Dunkin' Donuts paint. <laughs> I'm not a doctor. Finally, I read about an Air France flight that traveled nearly seven hours from Paris to Montreal powered by used cooking oil. It's great if you don't mind spending seven hours knowing that you're on a plane powered by used cooking oil. It's like only six hours and 49 minutes left, everybody. We're almost, we can do this, we can do this. Yep, the cooking oil flight landed on time, but they had to wait 10 minutes under a heat lamp until someone came and picked them up. Guys, this is very exciting. Today, New York announced a new program called Vax and Scratch, where people who get vaccinated receive a lottery ticket that could be worth $5 million. Just think, in one day, New Yorkers can get a life-saving vaccine and enough money for a one-bedroom apartment. Isn't that unbelievable? <laughs> a studio apartment, let's be honest. Uh, I can't wait to hear a guy at the bodega say, oh, give me four Pfizer's, uh, a few Moderna's, a Lucky Seven's, <laughs> and a Quick Pick, too. And you gotta get four, because that's how they do it. The fourth one's always the winner. So. <laughs> Meanwhile, New Jersey also announced some new vaccine incentives, like free wine, park passes, and dinner with the governor and his wife. People in New Jersey were like, well, two out of three ain't bad. <laughs> Can't wait until some guy wins dinner with the governor's like, honey, break out the fancy evening track suits. This is a legitimate dinner situation. <laughs> Steam it up. Zip it up halfway. No. Speaking of vaccines, the FDA now says that the Pfizer vaccine can be stored at normal refrigerator temperatures for up to a month. <laughs> so we've gone from storing the vaccine in a special containment facility to treating it like leftover pad thai. So that's good. <laughs> Does it smell weird to you? Just put it in the needle and give me one. Right. Some big news from Washington. Last night, the House voted 252 to 175 to form a commission that would investigate the January 6th Capitol riots. But that's right, that's almost half of the House voted no. It's like playing a game of Clue and half the players are like, I think we just let this one go, right? It, <laughs> with the pipe in the library. We're good. Yeah. Not only did 175 Republicans vote against the commission, they also want to make January 6th bring your insane rioter to work day. And that's why this one gets interesting. The bill now heads to the Senate where it needs support of 10 Republicans. Come on, there's a better chance of 10 dentists supporting Mountain Dew cake smash. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, get this, Mike Pence's brother, Greg Pence, voted no. <laughs> People said, don't, don't you care that they tried to kill your brother? <laughs> I was like, nose before bros. <laughs> Wanna make for a fun family barbecue this summer? <laughs> Mother, ask Judas how he wants his meat patty. <laughs> Some business news, I saw that this summer, IHOP plans to launch a more casual spin-off chain called Flipped by IHOP. Yeah. That, that was always my complaint about IHOP. Too formal. Yeah. How much more casual can you get than a restaurant that has word jumbles on the placemats? 
Uh, hey, I heard that uh, Uber released this annual lost and found index, which is always fun. Check out some of the items that people left behind over the past year. Among the most commonly forgotten items are phones, cameras, wallets, keys, and backpacks or luggage. Some of the most unique items on the list include a tooth, a cooler full of fish, a mannequin head, a crystal chandelier, and a toilet seat. Yeah, either a bunch of people were really drunk or a carrot top uses Uber. <laughs> Today, the White House announced a new way that they're trying to get more Americans vaccinated. Listen to this. Some of America's biggest dating apps are joining the White House push to get Americans vaccinated. Apps including Tinder, Hinge, and Bumble will offer badges for singles to display their vaccination status. Sure. That's great. The, the, the only other shot dating apps ever promoted was penicillin. So I think that's a great... Uh, I like the idea. You get your shots, you meet someone on Tinder, then get a few more shots. Um, <laughs> Usually, when you hear White House and Tinder in the same sentence, it's followed by resignation and disgrace. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know this started when some CDC employee was like, uh, honey, it's not what you think. It's a, it's a work project. <laughs> yeah, they're offering a bunch of features for users who get the vaccine, like being able to add an I'm vaccinated badge to their profile. Oh, hey. Americans are like, ooh, that's even hotter than being verified on Twitter. <laughs> That's hot. <laughs> that's that's hot. <laughs> NB. That's my new jam. Oh, cool. NB. NB. Yeah. No biggie. No big. Well, yeah, you don't say D anymore. <laughs> you don't say NBD. You just go NB. No, no big deal. Too long. Right. NBD. NBD. Yeah. Fine. NB. There you go. Get checked, please. That's sharp, yeah. Yeah, you, yeah. you right? I feel hipper. That's... That's hot. <laughs> NB. Uh, the dating sites are also adding a lot of other helpful badges, too, like actually six feet tall. Oh. <laughs> That'll work. <laughs> Prove it. Stand next to something. Stand next to something oh. that's six feet tall, oh. yeah. It's a uh, giant fire hydrant. <laughs> <laughs> uh, also, they have the badge. Uh, this is a recent photo. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I, I want to know. <laughs> yeah, I want to know. Is this a recent photo? Uh, then uh, there's also the badge, of course. Not a serial killer. And that's oh. good if you know that. Also, for the weirdos who post group photos on their dating profile, they offer, I'm the second one from the right. <laughs> so, yeah. I know. <laughs> I know it's a group photo, but it's a good one of me, so I'm going to post it. I mean, look who else you could have been stuck with. My other friends are... Disasters. Speaking of vaccinations, I saw that people will soon be able to get their vaccine shots at airports like LaGuardia. Oh. New Yorkers heard and were like, I'm flying through LaGuardia. You think I care about living? Uh, <laughs> I just ate a cold hot dog and flat soda. I'm... I'm guessing the people who are waiting to get vaccinated at the airport are the same people buying luggage at the airport. <laughs> How busy are you? <laughs> I'm just gonna wear 10 layers of clothes and get through security, then I'll peel off each layer and fold it in my new luggage. <laughs> get this, I saw that the Pope just signed off on the first all-electric Pope-mobile. Check this thing out. Look at... Huh? <laughs> Let me see that again. Spaceship looking thing? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, here he is coming down the procession, Pope Tron Paul. There he is. <laughs> Looks like the Pope's got to exit that thing smoking a vape pen, doesn't it? <laughs> Can I see that once again, really quick? I just want to see that vehicle. Yeah, it looks. Is it? It looks like the new Domino's delivery car, doesn't it? <laughs> hey, can I get a, a blessed crust pizza? Thanks. For... <laughs> sorry. Oh, I'm sorry, Pope. Uh, I apologize. Some business news this summer, Google is opening its first ever retail store. Yeah. And since it's Google, you just walk in, they already know what you're looking for. <laughs> How you doing, Dave? Yeah, we have your phone. Also, uh, unicorns aren't real. So, hey, welcome. <laughs> and finally, I read about a Japanese bullet train driver who took a three-minute bathroom break while the train was going 90 miles an hour. When they heard no one was driving the train, passengers took a bathroom break right in their seats. Hey, hey.